Yeah. My basic principle of neighbor is that it must hurt. I don't know if you ever go to yoga classes and they go, this is mantra, they're going, nothing must hurt. And I think, you're kidding me? Everything hurts for me and yoga. Um, and it's true in my neighbor. It sends a message, it gives you an air of authority, that being the spot. So, working from this position, there's a huge number of techniques. Now, first of all, for that problem I've just been showing, if I put my arm through there, it's vulnerable. So what you do is you snatch the jacket quickly. Take it out. That's the first thing, alright? So if I leave it there, I'm going to get blocked. So I'm just going to do that. Second thing is, to slightly irritate my partner. I need on the <coughs> Subtle. It just gives me a little bit of something for him to think of. It's, it's a little bit of a distraction whilst I'm coming up with the, the rest of the technique. Alright, and the rest of the technique is this, so kneeling gently, obviously, on his Achilles heel, arm hip, take this through there, and what I'm doing is I'm driving my knuckle down underneath his chin, and then as soon as it gets there, I punch my left hand through and take the jacket, so if you just kneel up, imagine you're lying on a pane of glass, it's like that, it's up here, down under the chin, as soon as I get there, I punch that across, thumb into the and just whilst this hand's here, I think everything to pull the jacket down, and that gets me control of And from here, I've then got a number of options. The most simple one is to take this hand across on the other side and bring my left hip through to get the oxygen. So I'm working from here. And here, keeping low, my partner can't see me. Here, I've got this arm safe, but I've got the jacket. Drive the knuckle. Punch through, arm across, and then bring my hip through. Push it to the go. I value to it. One thing is just here, once you're in, is to just bring your body weight over. If you don't want to bring your hip through, just bring your body weight forward over the top, like that. Or another one is to give your partner the impression that you're falling away, and it's just that the knee's going to pop up, and then I'll be down, like that. Especially if you haven't got. Right it's not quite in deep enough and he's hanging on. Let's give this trick of falling away, but then bring your knee oh, that's the back. The back. <laughs> <laughs> it's that split second timing where he thinks, ah, I've got him. He's right up again. And my favourite these techniques was basic uh, French colour and was a good one. National thing on it. Um, again, working from this position, this grip here, um, sometimes you get very solid. A lot of people just have their hand in there. It's just, and as you know, you don't get very long um, to persevere. It's not like BJJ, we can fight for it. It seems ages. If you're not making progress, they call Mato very quickly. So, there's other options. First one is, um, is I bring this knee off my partner's Achilles heel and just tease that elbow out there. And so like that can enable me to continue with that. Other times, I can get my heel in. There. He's, what he's done is he's taken his arm out, so I've lost the chance to get an arm up. I've still got the strangle. Or oh, have I? I've still got the chance for the arm up. Maybe I have. You see it? Yeah. Once again. Yeah. Exactly the same as before. I take my knee off the Achilles heel. And I start to nudge this elbow out with my knee. Heel to knee. Put the arm on. He knows it, so he's taken the arm back, bent it back. So what you do, you still make your partner think. You're looking for the strangle. But I bring this knee back over, and look what I'm seeing how I'm getting the arm up there. Yep. Yeah. Really, very, very powerful. Do it slowly and respect your partner if he's going there or tapping. Let go because you, you don't have the same degree of sensitivity in your lower legs as your partner does with their arm.
the heel knee in I'm kneeling on my left knee. My right heel comes into my knee, put the arm back. He's avoided. Sometimes you can get a straight arm up there, but he's already bent it back. So I need to come back over. Yeah, man. Have a go. Over here, and you need to be threatening the strangle. But to show the correct leg action on the arm, I'm not going to do that at the moment. I want you to focus on what the knee needs to be doing. So it's heel to knee. Now sometimes, if you're very smart, you can catch a straight arm up there, see? But usually, your partner anticipates it and they bend away and the moment is lost, it's gone. I can no longer get that arm lock with my legs in this position. However, I can recover it. So normally I'll be on top still be trying. Simply, by bringing this knee very tightly over the other side and then my whole body turns. Hips have gone from facing that way to facing this way and I'm extending yep. this arm out. So there, back over, hips turn. Yep. I've got it. My part falls away. And then there's loads of people down here. And then as you break the technical equipment, so just in this position, I just want to show you a very simple and key thing. One of the first things is to get the narrowest part of your wrist in the joint there. And then you turn it up that way as you pull that down. So pull in here. I don't want to hold your own look at To keep up the pressure. But then, what I'm doing actually, if you just, I can just have um, it's like, yeah, I think I'll even look at it. What I'm going to try and do is like dislocate the elbow joint by turning my wrist up, pushing it down. So it's here. Pulling in, and you just push down there. And then apply the pressure. So I've got the whole of the upper arm in my chest here. Push that down, turn my wrist up. And finally it comes out. And the final thing is to straighten your leg. And if you do all that simultaneously, it helps. Any questions? Is that okay? A couple of minutes left. Do you can tell me.